misdefining and misunderstanding our priorities. And we have to be very honest with ourselves. I'm an economist and I always talk economics and we look at the numbers and we look at poverty. If you look at all the poverty indices in the world today, you'll find that in Southwest Nigeria, the incidence of poverty is 20%. In the Northwest, it is 80%. The Northeast, it's 80%. Why is it that the poorest parts of this country are the Muslim parts? Why is it that in a state that started Sharia in 1999, and we just heard the opening verses today, Iqra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq. This is the very first verse revealed in the Quran. How come that the state that started Sharia is not the one that is the most educated state? In fact, how come that in that state in 2017, only 24 children got five credits in secondary school? How do we define Sharia? How do we define Islam? Illiteracy? Malnutrition? Children on the streets? We have to ask ourselves. And we can't ask those questions until we begin to understand through Usul that you have to live in this world well in order to serve Allah for the hereafter. For Islam to prosper, we need educated Muslims. We need Muslims that are not begging. We need Muslims who are standing on their feet. Believe me, if poverty continues in the north, Islam will disappear from the north. The Prophet said, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika. Allah, I seek refuge with you from disbelief and poverty. And he said, Kadal Fakru Anyakuna Kufran. Poverty can lead to disbelief. These children that we see as Al Majiris and we laugh at them and we treat them as victims. Somebody will just come and pick them up put them in a school, give them medical care, and convert them to another religion. And they will do that by the hundreds and the thousands. So, what we see on the street is a product of bad economic policies and wrong priorities. These children are not criminals, they are victims. What part of Islamic law, what verse in the Quran, what hadith of the Prophet allows a father to give birth to a child and leave the child to go and fend for himself?